I'm not sure anybody at this point thinks that we need more rules and regulations. And yet, for the first time in my life, I'm going to say, yes, we actually do. At what point are we going to be over this hurdle of arguing one side against the other and just realize a basic golden rule of do unto others as you wish to do have done unto you? Here we go. So we have, of course, uh, Trump announced the US Space Force, which really was not a new organization. It had been around for decades. He just brought it to the light like so many other things that were brought forward. And he announced this in the Rose Garden in August of 2019. Here the images are uh, December and then February of the next year. And I was not even able to find that article today, but here we go. This was, of course, um, this would have been in December of 2019 that he's standing in front of a crowd and speaking and officially launching it, even though he had officially launched it in August of that year. Uh, but there was a gentleman in the White House, I'm sorry, in the Rose Garden of the White House standing next to and shaking um, the, the hands here. And that individual, as we move forward here, had made a statement apparently. Um, actually, it looks like probably stating the truth. And for those comments, um, he has uh, been removed from his position. Now, overall, being removed from the position is not that odd because the commander in chief and his boss and the person who appointed him is now no longer at the face of the brown zone as it's referred to. Uh, by an individual. Um, therefore, often the heads of different agencies, which are political appointees, are removed. And so that is not that odd. But the publicist or published um, around it, or the story being created here, is um, truth telling on many levels whether or not this actually happened. It's calling it like it is. And the other side doesn't like that to come forward. But here we go, sliding around the corner. This is what I'm saying. We have more rules on the book than we ever need. You know, every January in California, I sit back and, and just mock all the additional rules. We don't need more rules. We need it to frame down to a few basic agreements and just enforce what we have. Clearly, that's not happening if you want to check out the border. But here we have McConnell Braun roll out a bill to prevent the D's from weaponizing IRS to target conservatives. Now we've seen this many times by other administrations. The last one did not do it and rolled it back quite a bit. This one's already ramping up. I did hear somebody this morning on a YouTube broadcast state that in fact, she's not hearing any much movement. However, I know that individuals who filed on February 12th, which was the first filing day that this year they would accept the returns, by two weeks later, already audits were being instilled on these individuals. They've been aggressive already this year, and they're ramping up with mass hiring. And although I haven't seen where the numbers are falling, I have already speculated that these are contractors, not FTE government employees. Therefore, they are paid only when collection happens and thus are not going to work with you like maybe a, a, an FTE within the government would. So here we go. They are now having to push forward a bill to say, hey, don't use an agency that people are already afraid of, are already doing the best to give money to, by the way, are being squeezed like turnips. Don't weaponize them in order to attack political opponents is the bottom line of what this is. So instead of moving forward as a country and healing, this is what is on their plates for today to move forward. Again, when is enough enough? We're ripping apart this country. We're heading in the 100% opposite direction. And this is not helping anybody. And I will argue it is really not helping anybody. Even those at the top, karma is right around the corner. All right. Well. I really hope that there's blessings for this person and for the years that he served, he was able to, and look, they won't even show his face anymore. I did see it in articles a couple of days ago. And again, there was that article of, of him in the, in the Rose Garden shaking um, the current piece um, uh, hands, but 
even with many searches today, I thought I grabbed it and then the images changed as I tried to pull it up. So here we go. Let's change history while it's happening. Make rules that are ridiculous, not enforce the ones that protect the United States, and really push for the United States being last.